I know, what's happening? Oh, you're mad, aren't you? I know. I know. I know. But you have to have it. Okay. So, Wallace is home. It um, is Wednesday afternoon. He did have to stay overnight. There were some complications. Um, I'll probably talk about those later. Uh, I'm just have. I just want to show how he's home. Now, no one freak out. He is not weak or anything like that. <laughs> he's just really, really mad about having to have the bandages on and wear a sweater. Um, and that sweater really doesn't fit him. Say, and it's for a girl, but that doesn't matter. Um, but I do have socks and stuff to make him sweaters, but I had this one, so I want him to get used to wearing them because he can't go back in with his litter mates until he's used to wearing it and walks and runs properly. And he can't be with his litter mates if he doesn't have it covered. Um, and I'll have it covered fully. I, I know there's some sticking out. Um, but he will not walk. <laughs> he won't do it. He hates it. You know how you put a leash on some kittens or a harness on some kittens and they fall over and scream? That's what he does. He hates it. He, he's not, and he's not in any pain. He's, see, his pupils are huge. He is on pain shots. Um, so... Yes, say we have pain shots. We got the good stuff. I know. Look, see, he's feeling great. He's making biscuits. He just refuses to walk with that on. I know you're being a diva. You gotta walk, Angel. You gotta walk. You. I mean, it's gonna be a couple of days before he can go back with his litter mates anyway. Um, simply because, you know, he has to be watched. And we're actually going to move him into my son's room once um, I've established. <gasps> Whoa, okay, okay. I know, you gotta quit doing that. The vet said he was doing that in the oxygen tank. He had to be in the oxygen chamber. Um, the vet said this is what he was doing and it's just because he hates, He's fine. There's nothing wrong with him, but he is on pain meds and he hates his thing. So, he's been, he's kind of being a brat. I know. I, I'm just hoping he doesn't bite me. Because <laughs> he does get mad. Um, but he's good. He's good. He came through the surgery. Uh, there were a couple complications. Uh, but he made it the first 24 hours and his internal bleeding is stopped. So he is great. I know. I know, love. I know. I know. I know. All right. Yeah, I just wanted to give a little update because I know, and look, he's already knocked his food over. Mm. But we'll, we'll get it. We'll clean it up. But I wanted to give a little update um, because I know everyone. I've had quite a few people asking. Um, and I was going to actually do the update yesterday, uh, but then he had the complications and had to stay. So, I couldn't because it was too up in the air. We didn't know enough. But now we do. He's good. He's all good. My day is probably going to consist of this. And I may have to, and I hate doing it, but I may have to put him in, like, a carrier when I leave him because the crate is too big. He can still do, like, all his backflips and stuff. Um, because when I'm not, like, right here with him, he really goes crazy. So, I don't know what we're going to do because I can't, I mean, I'll hold him as much as possible today, but... There's other kittens to feed.
You're going to be a pistol, aren't you? Yes, you are. Do you want to show everybody what you did? So I left him for five minutes to get... I'm trying to figure out a litter box that he can use. And I may just use a pee pad with some litter on it. I promise you, I wasn't gone five minutes. And this happened. There's his food bowl. And his... And then there's his sweater. That's his sweater. <laughs> what are we going to do with you? What are we going to do with you? Look, he does not care. Happy to be. And I freaked out when I first came in because I couldn't see him. Couldn't see him anywhere. He was in He was in there. I'm going to put a feeding thing in there, I think. But, yeah. Oh, the one thing. I just wish if he were younger, this would be so much easier. But he's so big. He's just like, I do what I want. Do you do what you want? So I'm in charge. Do you hear him purring? He's just happy as can be. He's got his sweater off. He's got me in here. Do you have me all to yourself? <laughs> oh, and it just makes me laugh because I've been so worried about him. And now he comes home and he's just like, hey, how are you doing? How's it going? I'm not wearing a sweater. And I'm going to put my food everywhere. Are you a teenager? Or a preteen? <sighs> a problem child. What are we going to do? Maybe when I get his other... <laughs> when I make his sock sweaters. I did one last night, but I messed it up. So maybe if they're longer, he won't be able to get them all. Oh. Are you just happy as can be? Did you get your sweater off? <laughs> oh. Yeah. All right. Hey, honey bunches. Everybody's been asking about you. Yeah, everybody's been asking about you. What is that? Oh, you've got a little white in your whisker. That's, that's white fur. Huh. That's crusties, but that's white fur. Huh. When did that get there? That's not always been there. I know this cat like the back of my hand. What you doing? Are you, huh? Are you graying? Did I wake you up? I'm sorry. What? What, Prim? Well, um, I thought because, uh, really tonight, ooh, I'm just putting Wallace's, uh, coming home from his surgery up. And it's not very long because, to be quite honest, I'm worn out from the whole adventure. So I thought I would do a little hope update. Yeah, you want to show everybody, see how long it's been since we've done an update? Her little fur on her belly's grown back. Here, come on, come down. Okay, oh, we had a little Prim problem, was... and I think the light was bothering her eyes because she kept squinting. Uh, it is a very bright LED light. What is it, Prim? What is it? What is it? What is it? Um, but she's a mess. Uh, just a little update on her. She's a mess. She is... Well, I won't say she's awful, but she could be Prim's sister. For real. She has taken a chunk out of Fig's cheek. If I can find Fig, I will film it for you. She has... She's, I don't know how much longer oh. this will be. She won't sit still. Um, yes. So, I think because she didn't have um, brothers and sisters around... And she was segregated, you know, for so long that she just didn't learn to play properly. So she is very, um, uh, rough. <laughs> Fig is teaching her, though. Fig will still play with her, even after taking the chunk out of her cheek. But, uh, Hope's not scared of anything, including Prim. And she's doing wonderfully. Alright, that's it. She's, she's bird watching.